Hello, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> uh, I just want to first off start off and saying uh, thank you for all the support for everyone who subscribed. I broke a hundred, big milestone. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, big milestone. Yeah, it's really cool. Just want to say thanks. You know, I'm I'm glad that people are getting something out of this. So I appreciate all the subs and <laughs> it's awesome, cool. So I appreciate it. But today we're gonna be talking about something that I don't really think I've ever seen anyone talk about but also, you know, might be common sense. I'm not sure. Figured I'd make a video about it. <laughs> like our mobile, our mobile setting. That's a cool plant. I like that, that's a cool plant. Very cool stuff. Up in the hills, baby. Anyways, all right, enough of that. eBay, that's what we're talking about today. Some might be like, oh, hey, you like that? <laughs> you know, oh, dude, eBay, oh, I would never, I would never do eBay. Or some people would be like, oh yeah, dude, eBay's great. You know, everyone probably has their own perspective on eBay, but I just want to talk about it because I use it all the time for all my stuff. Like, if, except for like new, like new cameras. And even then I wouldn't be saying like no to it, but eBay is just a super good resource. And so on this video, I kind of want to talk about my experience with eBay, some pitfalls, some tips and tricks, and also just give you some examples of what I've bought on eBay and how much money it saved me. Because I've saved a shit ton of money buying stuff off of eBay rather than buying it new. So I'm gonna give you some case stories and, uh, and that's it. So buckle in, this should be a quick one. Why I shop on eBay. So obviously eBay is a secondhand store. I don't know if you're in a different country. I don't know if eBay, I think eBay is pretty global, but in case you've never heard of eBay, buy, resell, used equipment or new stuff. People do sell new on there, but it's like an Amazon for used equipment or used stuff. It's just like, I truly think the filmmakers like small market of aftermarket on YouTube, um, on eBay is like very respectful. Everyone takes care of their gear. I haven't had any issues. And like, also it's another thing is like, you can see like, you know, if a lens is scratched or beat up, you can see it on the side. Um, and usually people are like, you know, they'll like put on, like if it's a camera, they'll show how many times the shutter has gone or they'll turn it on, you know, and you can ask, right. If you're at all worried, but just overall, I think it's a super good, resource that people maybe underutilize and maybe I shouldn't be telling people because then you know maybe if you guys start going shopping on eBay I'm not gonna be able to get my deals <laughs> so so actually forget this video don't buy on YouTube it's horrible I don't buy on eBay it's horrible it's, don't don't do it Ooh, some dogs barking. if it's greatly different than what the pictures are shown they seem to have a pretty good buyers kind of insurance if you will I'm just gonna go through my eBay purchases and I'll say what I bought how much I bought it for and how much is it normally, right? Because I figured that would give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna screen record this. Last thing I recently purchased, a spotlight, an aperture spotlight with a 36 degree lens. So I got it for 330. There was $50 in sh uh, shipping, but you know, it is what it is. It's like, it's still $150 cheaper and it's like brand new. You can see in the picture and then when I got it, it literally was brand new. Let's go to the RF 70 to 200 zoom lens. I recently purchased it up, it's a great lens. It's around, I think 3000, yeah. So 2,800, 2,350. There was a little scuffs on it, but I'm fine with that. It still has the warranty card. You don't wanna get fake lenses. So when you're buying lenses, make sure if they have the original box and this one, if you're selling, have the original box, have like the little warranty card. Cause when I was going, I actually purchased the wrong, uh, 70 to 200 I purchased the Chinese made made in China one instead of the made in Japan one and I didn't want that one I wanted the authentic original one and so you know that's something I did end up sending it back they took it back I saved myself 500 bucks hey I don't know uh I totally forgot to talk about this in the video but uh another nice thing about buying things off of eBay is around like holidays or your birthday if people are asking for gift ideas you can just ask for an eBay gift card and you can then get that light that you want to get, but you're not going to ask them to buy you a $500 light or, you know, a $2,000 lens. So just a little, another nice thing that kind of comes with buying off eBay. Um, yeah. So back to the video. Now I will say I do have the B&H card and I do the, you know, the non-taxing. So if I'm looking online and I can't really find, like I kind of do the math. Like I like, we'll see how much it would be with like tax if I buy it through eBay. And if it's only like a hundred or $200, different like i'll maybe just buy it new because obviously new is the best because you do get like 
the manufacturing warranty. I would also invest in getting the B&H credit card. If you're buying gear, it's an awesome lifesaver. If you've never heard of it, basically you uh, can either finance it for I think 12 or 24 months, depending on how expensive it is, or you can buy it in full and not pay taxes. And that's great about the far uh, fi um, R5C with the B&H card. And then I basically got like all the accessories from the like $500 that I saved on uh, not paying tax. So 11 to 20 Tokina, that's normally like $500 more. I got a tentacle sink, that's normally $300. I got it for 160. I got two tentacle sink E's, which I'm actually using right now with Mike, but you know, those are usually, I save like 150 on there. Rig wheels, that's usually 2K. Quasar tubes, I got four lights. That would normally be like $800. Of all my C stands, I've bought off of eBay or like local. So that's another thing. Like I, I got like a group of four C stands for $250 for Matthews. That, that's great. Like even if it was $174 in shipping, it's still cheaper. And so you get an idea, right? 140 for Matthews. Another uh, perfect example, I didn't actually buy through uh, eBay, I bought through Adorama, but I found on eBay, so I'm gonna tell this little quick story. So I got a tripod, I kinda didn't think of the name, Satchelor, Satchelor, yeah, I think it's Satchelor, no, nah, whatever. So I got that tripod, right? And I originally found it on eBay, because Adorama will put their stuff on, like their used stuff, they'll put it on eBay. So I saw it and it said it was broken. This is another thing. You want to talk about used, like Adorama's used. I think B&H started doing used like a uh, market, but Adorama, especially if you live in like LA. Suspe suspe yeah. Specifically. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, specifically. I don't know about the word. I don't know. Does anyone else have problems with that word? <laughs> I always tongue tie. Okay, you live in Los Angeles. You can look on used market Adorama. They're always selling things that are broken or whatever. I've bought three or four Quasar tube lights. I've taken it down to Quasar, a Quasar, a Quasar's, jeez, oh, I can't speak right now. Uh, they're like factory down in Culver City and they fixed it for like 10 bucks, 20 bucks. And then like one time they didn't even charge me because they just like resoldered the wires inside. And I saved like, 80 bucks, 90 bucks. Even this one, I bought it for like $30 and it was normally, it was like their four foot tube that was like 250 or whatever dollars. So like this is what I'm saying, like buying stuff used. So anyways, the Satchelor tripod, they had it and it said it was broken. So normally it's like, and the market just went up because of the inflation and everything. So I think right now the new Flowtech 8 with the new head, the Active 8 or whatever, 3,700 something dollars. They were selling it. I ended up purchasing it. There was some tax involved. It was $2,350. And I, what I did was I looked at that and I called Satchelor's replacement group or whatever, you know, it's some side company. It wasn't like Satchelor, it was on their website though. I called them and I was like, hey, this is the situation. Um, I know I'm not the original seller, but like, I just, you know, how much would it cost? Like, cause you know, if I, I sent it in and it costs like $500 to fix it, I'm still saving a thousand dollars buying this item used. And they're like, well, actually you're in luck. Uh, it's still under manufacturer's warranty for like, if you send it in within the next like, three weeks and i was like are you serious i'm like yeah so if you send it in like it won't you it won't cost you anything so i bought it from adorama i got it in shipped it out to them they fixed it up i got it back in a month it didn't cost me a thing it cost me a hundred dollars to ship it obviously because it's a tripod and it's big but so total after tax i probably bought it for two thousand i don't know 530 with the shipping to the repair house Normally it's 3,700 and whatever. So I saved 1,200 plus, right? Buying aftermarket. And that's like great savings. And I don't think people really talk about it. I think there's a stigma with buying used gear. Everyone's like, I don't want I want the new thing. And I get it. You know, like my Komodo, I bought it new. The R5C, I bought it new. The lens I'm using right now, the 15 to 35, may I bought that new. No, I didn't. I bought that used too. This is what I'm saying. Like I'm, fe I feel very comfortable and I've bought probably 50 to 60 items throughout my like filmmaking career and i have not had a single issue with anything everything is i bond like i've saved around anywhere from 100 up right so the lowest thing i think i've bought 150 dollars probably saving new like you know buying it new up to 1300 dollars right and like all that money i just take and reinvest it into buying new stuff or you know saving for whatever so that's just the video just want to finish off with some caveats, some problems, some worries, if you will. Don't buy anything or at least be wary if you click on a person selling something and they have zero reviews and they just made their page that year. Nine out of 10 times, it's a scammer. 
not always. I have bought a few things from people that have had like one star, even zero stars. Cause you know, sometimes people just make an eBay account just to sell like one thing. But usually if it's in the current year, it's a fake, it's a scammer. So take care of that. That's number one to watch out for. And you can also message them. Oh, the first time I ever sold my, my first Mavic original pro drone, I sold that on there. I, I sold it. This is like a scam that they do a lot. So if you're a seller or you're thinking of maybe selling some of your gear, if it's an expensive item, what they'll do is you'll sell it, right? Someone will buy it, they'll send the money. And then around the time that at like, you know, like it's like an hour to three hours after you sell that item, they'll message you and they'll be like, Hey, uh, can you actually send it to my sister's house? I'm going to be out of town or like whatever. They'll make up some like story. And it happened to me because I wasn't even paying attention to the name of the person who bought it versus the person who like messaged me. It's two different names. I didn't know at the time. I was pretty green to eBay and I sent it to him and I lost it. I was out like $650 and that sucked. And because I changed the address of where I shipped it from where it was on eBay, eBay didn't cover it. And the guy was pissed off. It was a bad deal. It was horrible. But so that's something to worry about if you're selling. But in general, like, you know, you can tell when someone's like an actual person versus like just trying to like, like a company selling. So, but yeah, that's, that's everything. I think it's a good resource. So, oh yeah, get yourself some tentacle sinks, dude. They're great. Tentacle sinks and trackies, baby. They're my fave.